She drops bombs, dude. Like, I'm talking it shakes the floor when this little girl poops. <laughs> What is going on guys, Andy Gabs back for another vlog or what is gonna be more of a Q&A vlog. Uh, my last video I posted asking you guys to ask me questions that you wanted to know about me. So this video is gonna be mainly me just sitting here talking to the camera and answering your guys' questions, which I have typed out on my phone right here. So uh, let's just get into it. The first question came from Angela Conley. I'm not really going in order. Uh, I kind of planned out in order, I guess. So the first question came from Angela Conley. Uh, hi, Angela. Thank you for the question. And it was, how do I know Brian and Noah? Um, kind of a long story, but I will tell the long version of the story right now. I've had a bunch of people ask me this from my friends that also happen to know who Brian is to people commenting on my videos. Everyone's always curious how I'm friends with Brian and Noah. All right, so I have watched Brian's videos. Hold on, need to go yell at the dog. <sighs> Sorry, dog was being super annoying. Dog is now dealt with. I made him into a coat. No, I'm just kidding, I put him in their room. Um, anyways, Brian and Noah, how do I know them? Okay, so I have been following Brian's channel for a very long time, years and years and years. Like three years ago, he was gonna come out to San Diego. Oh no, I'm sorry, let me go back. So I met him at JTK Reptiles in LA for the first time like three and a half-ish years ago, maybe four years ago. Then, maybe like three years ago, I saw on his Twitter, which I don't have a Twitter anymore, by the way. I hate Twitter, it's dumb. <laughs> sorry about that. Burps. Um, I saw on his Twitter that he was coming out to LA, so I added him on Twitter, like at, not ad, uh, and I said, hey man, if you wanna see the base um, on Coronado, you know, we should link up, blah, 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 blah. And he replied and said that he would love to, but he wasn't sure if he would be able to, and this was during like the Pomona Reptile Show, I think. So he didn't end up making it, but I met up with him in Pomona, and you know, he knew me from Twitter because we had been talking and whatnot. Um, and we were kind of just hanging out. Kelsey was with me as well. We were just hanging out, walking around the show, you know, talking, BSing, and he had something that he had to do. I don't remember what it was, and Noah was still at the hotel, or at their hotel room, and he, like, couldn't go and get him, but he needed Noah to come for some reason, and I was like, well, like, I know this is weird since I don't know you, and I didn't know Noah at all at the time. I was like, but I can go and pick Noah up if you want, and Brian was like, ugh you know, don't really know who you are, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, hold on, let me ask Noah. So he asked Noah if some random dude, me, could come and pick him up. And uh, Noah said, sure. So I uh, got Noah's phone number and I went and picked them up and then we ended up hanging out pretty much all day and into the night. Um, that was where we kind of, I don't know, I'd say, I guess, became friends-ish. Um, but then, you know, I had Brian's Noah, I had Brian's number, I had Noah on Snapchat, and me and Noah would just talk every now and then, and then over the past three years, we've just got closer and closer, and now uh, I consider Brian a good friend and a mentor. I've slept at their house, if you guys have seen, multiple times. Noah, I consider one of my best friends. We talk pretty much every day. We're actually working on a new t-shirt design for, uh, for Noah, so look forward to that coming out on his channel if it actually happens. Not 100% sure if it's going to yet. But yeah, that's pretty much the story. So I was just a fan and then we kinda just got along good and I don't know. That's all she wrote, I guess. But on the note of um, Brian and Noah, so I'm also an admin for Brian's Facebook page, which is Reptile Keepers for Brian Barcheck on Facebook. Uh, I'll throw it, it'll be the first link in the description. If you guys are interested, we're actually gonna be doing an art giveaway, not an art giveaway, an art contest, I guess, on the page. So uh, it's gonna be up to the fans, I guess, to draw something or like create something out of art representing one of the ambassador animals. And then we're gonna be giving away something from Brian. We're not 100% sure what it's gonna be yet, but it'll be like maybe a signed tumbler, like the cup, tumbler cup things or maybe a picture, or, you know, I'm not 100% sure. If you wanna enter the contest, we'll be posting the details in the group soon. Me and the other admins were just talking about it. Uh, so definitely go check out the Facebook group. Like I said, first link in the description. Moving on to the next question. Sorry, I don't remember. I typed them all into my phone, like I said. 
Ah, okay, so JW International Exotics, was that the peanut challenge? Who challenged me for that? Hold on, I gotta look, but I'll talk about it while I look. So on the Reaper video, uh, someone told me about another challenge. Uh, ah, Johnny, William Coleman, thank you, William Coleman, told me about another challenge. Uh, it's called Johnny Scoville's Tube of Terror. So I ordered the Tube of Terror, and basically what it is, is Death Nut V2 Level 5, right? I ate two of those um, for the V2 Level 5, and it was the hottest thing I've ever eaten in my life. Well, the Tube of Terror is a tube of 25 of those same peanuts. So, I bought it. When I hit 2k subs, I will do the Tube of Terror. I will do my best to complete it, but to be 100% honest, this is the first challenge that I have been legitimately scared of that I don't know if I'll be able to complete it. But once I hit 2K subs, I will give it my best run. That leads me in to another question uh, by OG Fergie. Thank, or Fergie, Fergie. I don't know if it's OG Fergie or Fergie, but thank you, I appreciate the question. Uh, what's the progress on getting Noah to do Toe of Satan? Um, I had it saved on my Snapchat and I deleted it, but he said that the next time he was out here in San Diego, LA area, he would do it and Since he said he would do it, I have two more. No, I'm not doing two at once again. I will do one, two sucked, but I have two. So Noah, when you come out, it's definitely gonna happen and we are gonna do it. Go comment on Noah's video and tell him, uh, I don't know, tell him that he still has to do the Toe of Satan with me when he comes to LA again. Noah, don't be a little bitch. You're not gonna back out of the challenge and I'm not gonna let you escape from it. We're doing it. Next up, JW International Exotics asks, do I like pizza with jalapenos? No, because they use pickled jalapenos and I freaking hate pickled jalapenos. I love fresh jalapenos, so if I could find a pizza place that would use fresh, then yes, I would do it. My go-to pizza is buffalo chicken with pineapple and bacon, which gets expensive. I don't know why, every time I order that pizza, it's like 20 bucks, but that's my choice. Buffalo chicken with what did I say? Pineapple and bacon. Um, yeah, it's really good. If you've never tried it, do it. And pineapple does go on pizza. Also to JW International Exotics, he said go Rams. How'd that go over for you, buddy? TB12, six rings. Beep. I'm just kidding. I didn't mean that like that, but I did at the same time. Uh, Angela Conley asks, how long have me and Kelsey been together? We have been together for four and a half-ish years. Uh, 060814 is when we got together, so June 8th, 2014. I just confused the shit out of myself thinking about that. Um, so yeah, we've been together for a good long while, and obviously now we have our pretty little baby girl who's sitting right there. I don't wanna move the camera because I got the lights all set up, but I'll bring her in the video before it ends. How long have I been in the Navy? Uh, I have been in the Navy for six years and eight days, I think, somewhere around there. Uh, so I'm on my second enlistment. This one will push me out to 10 years. <clears throat> That's a good one, I'm not editing that out. Yeah, so this contract will put me at 10 years. Am I gonna re-enlist again? Meh, maybe. I'm not 100% sure, it kinda depends on where I'm at in life. You know, if I can get YouTube to take off and make as much money from YouTube as I make now in the Navy, then I would honestly consider getting out. Um, I love the Navy, I love serving my country. I truthfully do, like not, not trying to sound like righteous or self-righteous or whatever. I really do believe in what we do and I believe that we're doing it for the greater good of the country. If you don't agree with that, I don't care. Honestly, you can comment all you want. I'm not gonna respond, don't care. Um, so that kind of leads me into why I joined the Navy. Um, to serve my country would be one reason. Uh, I have a very long family lineage of military service going all the way back to the Revolutionary War. Uh, I had family fight in the Revolutionary War, the Civil War. In the Civil War, we fought for the Union, which was kind of a surprise to me because my whole family's from like Kentucky and um, like all Southern states. So I thought it was interesting that we fought for the Union. Uh, which obviously is good. Racism is bad. 
but yeah, so all the way through the Civil War, Spanish-American War, um, Vietnam, World War One, World War Two, I've had family in pretty much every war since the U.S.'s inception. Uh, so it's very important to me to kind of continue that family tradition and just, I don't know, be a part of something bigger than me. Other reasons, um, the college aspect, you get your GI Bill when you get out, that's going to be really good for me. Or if I don't end up using it, I can pass it on to my daughter. So when it comes time for her to go to school, she'll have 100% free college. So yeah, that's great. Uh, what do I do in the Navy? I'm an information systems technician. Uh, I deal with computers and networking. And then there's another side of my job that deals with radio communications that I used to do, uh, don't do anymore. I have been all over the world in my naval career, uh, literally all over the world. Now I am an instructor. Uh, yes, Kelsey just pointed, there's a map right there. That's got like all the places that I've been to. Um, right now I'm an instructor, so I teach a cybersecurity class to other people in the Navy as well as civilians, teaching them kind of how to do their job a little bit better, I guess, or ideally how to do it better. Is this camera staying focused? I hope it is. I have it on autofocus. Reptiles. Angela also asked, do I have any reptiles? And if so, what is my favorite? Well then, this kind of brings me to an interesting point. Uh, I'm gonna roll a clip right now. And while that clip is going, uh, so yeah, I built a dart frog enclosure. No dart frogs in there yet, but um, it took a long time, it took a couple weeks. I styrofoamed the whole background myself, I siliconed it, I added in the waterfall, built the water feature, added in all the plants, got the lighting. Uh, it was a long process, but I think it came out really good. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. So, do I keep reptiles? Kind of. I have the starts to a terrarium or a vivarium, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I didn't vlog. I don't know why I didn't vlog the process of like doing it. It would have been really smart and it was kind of stupid for me not to do it, honestly. But uh, if I get this one going and I can keep everything alive, like all the plants and stuff alive, I want to do a bigger one. So the one that I have now is an 18 by 18 by 18. I think I want to do like a 36 by 18 by 18, um, just for more floor space and still have one water feature. Uh, so if I end up getting another one and doing another one, I will 100% vlog the whole process from buying the stuff, going to Home Depot, buying the foam, the silicone, doing it all. I will vlog it all. But at the moment, that is all I keep. However, in the past, uh, I have had everything from reticulated pythons, rattlesnakes, leopard geckos, frogs, monitors, uh, ball pythons, boas, tegus, Fish, I had a reef tank. Um, I will never do that again, ever. Reef tanks are a huge pain in the butt, especially if you have live corals, which I did. It's like a full-time job, taking care of it and making sure all your levels are perfect and your corals are eating and your fish aren't eating your corals and your corals are like killing your fish and you have the right kind of corals to go with the type of fish and then you get this thing called a, like a construction or goby and it fudges everything up because it doesn't like the way the tank looks. Yeah, it's annoying. Um, but really cool reef tanks are awesome if you have the time and the money to do it or have someone else take care of it for you and you just get a look at it highly recommend where was I reptiles yeah so that's all I have for now uh, the housing that I live in does not allow me to have anything other than that kind of sucks but uh, my next reptile that I will get once I have a suitable housing arrangement for it is going to be a crocodile monitor or a croc monitor talked about this before they are my favorite monitors by far i love the fact that they're kind of crazy um hopefully i would be able to tame mine out though right because yeah i want to be able to interact with it but they're just gnarly i saw a picture of one skull today that had passed away and it's just insane dude their teeth are like ah like that big it's pretty wild uh next question from Lindsay losing it i think that's like Lindsay losing it is not her real name, I don't think. Maybe it is. I don't know. But what's up, Lindsay? How are you? Uh, she asked my favorite Netflix series. God, I don't know how to answer this one, right? Are you asking my favorite Netflix series like my favorite Netflix original series or my favorite series that's ever been on Netflix? Regardless, I still don't think I can choose. So I'll do a couple. Favorite scary series? 
Haunting of Hill House. That shit was awesome. My, bah, I don't want to say favorite. It's up there and like my favorites total all time ever TV series. Um, another one. What is it called? He stabs the people in the heart. Oh my god. And then he like disposes of their body in plastic bags. Dexter. Dexter. Yes. Couldn't remember the I name. Seen it. I but I promise you, Dexter, if you have not seen it, phenomenal show. It's so good. Uh, and there was rumors going around, like a picture on Facebook, that they were going to bring it back. They're not. That was a lie. I was pissed. Um, what else do we got? Other favorites. Vampire Diaries and the originals. Make fun of me all you want. They're good shows. If you're curious where all my animals got their names, Klaus, Enzo, Kai, all from the Vampire Diaries or the originals. Huh? Yeah. Oh, we also had Davina. It was a cat that we had, but she peed on everything, so we got rid of her. He, whatever, yeah, it was a girl, and then it was changed into a boy. Gender identity. Um, but yeah, so those are a couple of my favorite Netflix shows. I recently watched You. That was pretty good. Um, hoping they bring it back for a second season, which, based on how it ended, if you've seen it, you know, left you on a huge cliffhanger. What other Netflix shows do I really like? Um, how to Get Away With Murder. How to Get Away With Murder. That is another really good one. Yeah, we haven't watched the second season of, no, not How to Get Away with Murder, Making a Murderer. Yeah, well, How to Get Away with Murder. Well, How to Get Away with Murder is also good, but I was talking about Making a Murderer. I uh, haven't watched the second season just because I follow the news, so I know what's happening in the case, so I don't really think they're going to show me anything new. I know that Brandon Darcy, his nephew or whatever, got out of jail, which is the only thing that really got him convicted. Uh, so, confused on how he's still in jail, because it was Brandon's conviction. You know, I don't know, maybe I'll watch it. Keep in mind, that doesn't mean I think he's innocent. I just think that the police planted a lot of evidence against him. And I think that, I don't know. I don't think they had enough to convict him. Even though I think he might've been guilty, I think they made a lot of shit up. Um, yeah, next question, moving on. Oh, that was it. Okay, so that was all the questions, go team. Um, so some videos I have coming up for you guys in the future. I'll talk about that real quick. Also, if you've made it to this point, thank you. You are awesome. I appreciate it. Videos I have coming up. As I said, 2K subs, I will do the Tube of Terror. I'm not excited about it, but I'm excited about 2K subs, so we'll do it. The Double Toe of Satan with no single Toe of Satan. I'm not doing two again. The Single Toe of Satan Challenge with Noah, whenever they come out to uh, California, we'll do it. God only knows when that be. God only knows when that will be. Um, Brian and Noah, if you're watching this, figure it out. Um, also, huge shout out to Brian Barcheck, my boy. Uh, I think he hit 2 million subs today, or he's about to hit 2 million subs. Uh, he was really close earlier. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw my story. I uh, posted his, he was at like 1,999,500 something. He is at, oh God, he's so close. 1,999,740. If you're not subscribed to Brian, go do it. Help him hit 2 million. Also, congrats to my bro Noah. Um, he hit 100,000 a week ago maybe. But okay, other videos, right. Sorry, I get distracted. That's why I made a list, because this video would have been like four hours long. I am going to be doing a 24-hour challenge. Not going to be releasing a lot of details about that one as of yet, because I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to be able to do it, but it's going to be really cool. I might be doing it with Noah. We talked about it, but no guarantees. No, not the Lucy challenge. That's all Noah. And uh, I have a couple other cool ideas that I'll be sharing with you guys in the future. Don't want to give too much out yet, then you won't come back. <sighs> but yeah, I don't know. I think I hit pretty much everything. Oh, hold on one sec. Got my little pooper. Um, that has kind of become her nickname for me, is Pooper, because she takes some big poops, and they're loud poops. Oh, she's gonna cry? She drops bombs, dude. Like, I'm talking, it shakes the floor when this little girl poops. I'm impressed. She's gonna watch this video in 18 years and be like, Oh my god, Dad, why did you do that? Oh yeah, dude. So, no one else can swaddle as good as me. Like, I am a straight up pro swaddler. She is a little baby burrito. 
But look at how cute she is, hey sweetie. She's napping. She kind of looks grouchy. But uh, yeah guys, pretty much all I got. Um, I'm actually gonna edit this right now. It is, what time is it? Like 11? 8.53. Oh my God, it's only 8.53? Dude, I literally thought it was like 11.30 right now. Wow. Yeah, to be honest, I don't know. But uh, my dad will be here on um, Friday, two days from now, tomorrow, for you guys uh -huh. watching this. Um, so we'll do some cool stuff while he's here. He's a giant pansy when it comes to hot stuff. So um, maybe I'll get him to eat something spicy. I got an idea for that one, but I'll, uh, I'll tell you guys about it later. Yeah, so I'm gonna get this video edited, hang out with my little baby, and hang out with uh, baby mama who's sitting right there along with the dogs. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have more questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments. I will reply back to you in the comments. Uh, I plan on doing a Q&A video every now and then um, when I hit like benchmarks, 1,000, 10,000, 25, 50, 100, million, 10 million, 100 million, a billion. Am I gonna be the first YouTuber to hit a billion subscribers? Who knows? Um, if I ever hit a billion subscribers, I'll buy someone a Lamborghini, mark my words. Yeah, that's all I got, guys. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to turn on the notification bell so you get notified when Dad posts. Peace.